I think over the past week, we've seen extreme examples of how dangerous misinformation can be. Here in the county, I'm concerned that there's misinformation being circulated about vaccines and distribution. I'd like to share actual information with you. Those of you who know me know that I work very hard to share information with you, not to overpromise and not to present information as I'd like it. So today, I want to explain what we know about vaccine distribution and administration in this county. Right now, many of you are asking questions about vaccinations. When can I get the vaccination? Why are my friends in other states getting the vaccination and I can't? Can't I register in advance? Can't you move any faster? Why is it taking so long? And why are you sitting on a ton of vaccines? Why don't you get them out? First, let me be very clear. We are administering the vaccines as we receive them. We do not have unused vaccines lying around or going to waste. You can see this on our website. This graphic does not say 100% because some of the 2% of remaining vaccines were being administered as the information was going up. We are being accurate and precise. As you may know, the state, not the county, distributes the vaccines. For the past four weeks, we've received vaccines from the state. Each week, we get two to three days notice of when they will arrive and how many we will receive. We cannot make plans to administer those doses until we have that information. Each week, our clinics have administered all of the doses received. This chart makes it look like we have doses that we have not administered, but it includes doses delivered the previous day. All of those doses will be administered before we receive our next shipment. Some have asked why we don't ask our staff to work through the weekend to finish as fast as possible. Our public health and logistics staff have been working nonstop since this pandemic began more than 10 months ago, and they are tired. They are willing to work as much as needed, but we don't need them working on the weekends yet because we do not have enough doses from the state. We can, and have used all of the doses before this next supply arrives. If we use our doses quickly in the week, we do not get more doses. In total, we have only received 19,800 doses. We have approximately 750,000 people who are eligible to receive these doses. Some will receive doses directly from hospitals or nursing homes, but most will not. And the two vaccines that are currently available require two doses, about four weeks apart, to be fully effective. So even if the number of doses we receive increases, we must use some of them to give the second shot to the people who have already received the vaccine. This chart shows what we've received so far and how the second doses will be administered. As you can see, the first 100 people are now receiving their second doses and you can see when the others need to receive their second doses. In the week of January 27th, we need 4,200 doses just for the people who have already received their first shot. Even if we receive 12,000 doses that week, only 8,000 new people would be able to receive a dose. The following week, February 3rd, we need to use 8,600 of our doses for the second shot. Even if we received 16,600 doses, only 8,000 of those doses will go to new people. So each week, beginning January 27th, we will be using some of our doses to provide second doses to people who have already received the first shot. We think, we hope, we will receive more doses next week, around January 19th, maybe earlier. We don't know even though we keep asking. My fellow county executives and other counties around the state do not know either. None of us do. I think many of us have heard recently from the federal government that more doses will be released. We don't know when and we don't know how. And we don't know how many. But I do want you to know that we are planning for how to increase capacity to administer the vaccine. Right now, we have the capacity to administer many more doses than we have received and we are working with partners around the county on how to increase that capacity for when the doses increase. And we're talking with our counterparts in other jurisdictions to learn what they are doing. I know some of you want to know why are other people like me getting vaccine in other places and when will it be my turn? First, we don't know when will it be your turn. We have to follow the CDC guidelines about how to prioritize our very limited doses. 
you can go on our website and see this information and more. We think that in February, we will begin to vaccinate adults age 75 and older who are not in nursing homes. The 75 and older population alone is tens of thousands of people who will need doses. This does not count residents of nursing homes who are receiving their doses directly via an arrangement worked out by the federal government. In other states, people 75 and older may already be receiving their vaccines for a variety of reasons. For some states may have received more doses. It is different for every state. And jurisdictions within a state may have received different amounts of doses. Additionally, states may have decided to move into phase 1B, even if phase 1A is not complete. Also, a state may not have followed CDC guidelines for prioritization, and there may be other reasons. But I want you to know that we're not holding back vaccines, and we are administering them first to the people at greatest risk of exposure, as directed by the CDC. How will you know when it's your turn? If you have email and internet access, please sign up for updates on our webpage. We are working on a system that will allow people to register in advance. We are learning from mistakes in other places where the systems are crashing. We want our system to be able to handle the number of people we expect to sign up. There are also many people who don't have easy access to email and the internet, and we want to be sure we are able to reach them also when it's their turn. These are issues of equity and fairness. We are also adapting as information and supplies change. The federal government has said they will release more doses. We are awaiting information about what that means. Next week, we'll have a new president and an administration, and we believe there will be more changes. We are in constant contact with officials at the state and federal level, as well as with other local officials and public health experts. I hope this has helped give a sense of vaccine distribution. We will continue to provide information as we have it. In the meantime, please remember, we all need to continue to maintain physical distance, wash hands frequently, and please wear a mask. Please stay safe. Thank you.